guys, it's Melinda. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I said that in a weird order and then it threw me off. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all of my tips for diffusing. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I used to hate diffusing. It did not work for my hair. And if it did work, I got like really weird, crunchy or frizzy results. And my hair was never soft and diffused. It was always like producty and heavy and frizzy and just a mess if I diffused. So I've definitely learned some tips and tricks along the way. And now I'm going to share those with you guys. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So really quickly before I get into the video, I just want to talk to you guys about Love Every. This video isn't sponsored by them, but they sent me a few toys for Rosie to show you guys so that you can order them for your babies because they're so amazing. They are specifically crafted by Montessori experts to help your baby learn while they're playing and they are customized to your baby's age. So it's a subscription box that ships out every two months. So this is a five to six month box and I actually recorded Rosie's reaction to the toys and it is literally so Hi, cute. So here's Are that. Are you ready for your gifts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Get it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Sit up, lazy bones. Dude, this is so cool. She's gonna love that when she figures it out. <gasps> a rainbow ball? Oh, no way. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. oh, snap. Come on, we're practicing sitting up. Do it. <laughs> she likes that one. Oh, man. You guys, also, we got these. She is gonna love these. She's obsessed with her feet right now. Oh, yeah. She's gonna love that. Here we go. And lastly, we have this. Oh, snap. And it comes with a little book so we can start going over, going over her body parts. Yay! You are pumped. Here, you want this back? You like that one. Can you sit up for it? Can you sit up for it? You know how. Be lazy bones. Lazy bones, lazy bones. Boop, 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 boop. All right, guys. So if you want to get one of these kits, um, I will have them linked down below. And thank you, Love Every, for sending all this to us. Rosie loves these toys so much. They're literally her favorites. Yeah. Yeah. So diffusing is basically attaching this. This is your diffuser onto your blow dryer. And this just helps to diffuse the air so it's not blowing your hair all over the place. I would not advise to use a blow dryer if you're trying to style your hair curly without your diffuser attachment. It's just gonna be too harsh. You're gonna end up with tons of frizz and it's just not what you wanna do. That's not how you care for your hair, ladies and boys. I know there's some boys with curly hair out there that watch my videos. But yeah, you definitely wanna be using an attachment you're gonna get tons of frizz if you're just using this guy without a diffuser you need that air dispersed to be gentle be gentle on your hair okay so I'm gonna try to hit some topics in a few categories so I'm gonna start with the purposes of diffusing how to prepare your hair before you start diffusing to get the best results and then the different techniques that you can use and I will be recommending a diffuser at the end of this let's go ahead and get into it I would say that the main reason most people want to diffuse or the first thing that comes to mind when you think of diffusing is speeding up your dry time so I used to just strictly air dry it would take my hair like six hours to dry but I didn't mind it because that was the only way that I could actually get soft hair that I enjoyed the way that it felt the way my hair feels is like top priority for me but I have found a way to get soft and diffused hair so stay tuned but anyways yeah I think that the main selling point for diffusing is definitely speeding up a dry time and then the other one for me personally is it really helps to give me like a bouncy fluffy look to my hair as you can see it also helps to encourage curl enhancement so it's really going to tighten your hair up and just give you the most out of your hair possible also if you dry your hair and speed up the dry time you're reducing the amount of time that the water is in your hair weighing your hair down and stretching it out which is also going to add to volume and bounciness and curl enhancement so yeah volume is definitely another benefit 
of diffusing. I just want to mention too, I know a lot of people are probably concerned about heat damage if you do start diffusing. That's also another reason why I would air dry for the longest time because I thought that that was better for my hair, but Mains by Mel actually has a video on her channel talking about the damage that air drying actually has on your hair. Apparently, leaving your hair wet for an extended period of time, like six hours, is actually more damaging than putting heat on your hair. So I will try to have her video linked down below if I remember, but definitely go to her channel and check that out. She goes into way more detail, but apparently it can be less damaging for your hair to actually diffuse your hair. So very interesting, but if you are worried about heat damage, definitely get a heat protectant. I know that Curl Smith just came out with a heat protectant and I know that they have like pretty clean ingredients. So I would say that one's probably pretty good. I have not tried it yet though. Okay, so as far as preparing your hair to be diffused, I feel like this is the most important part of the video because no matter what diffusing technique you choose, which I'm going to cover in the next section, it doesn't really matter if you're not preparing your hair correctly because I was doing all the right techniques, but my hair was not ready to be diffused because I wasn't preparing it right. Okay. So when it comes to my hair specifically, and probably your hair, if you're watching this video, you're clearly having issues diffusing and you're not liking your results for one reason or another, I would really encourage you to try layering more products products and layering the right products, honestly. So the perfect combination of products for my hair specifically is a lightweight leave-in conditioner or a lightweight cream, a gel or a jelly, and then I micro plop my hair, which means I'm going in with a microfiber towel or a t-shirt to scrunch out the excess water. And then I'm finishing it off with a mousse, specifically the Not Your Mother's Curl Mousse. Now I will say the cream and the gel kind of fluctuate for me. I can can use pretty much any cream, any gel for this specific method and for my routine, it doesn't really matter. But for the mousse, I would really recommend getting the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. It is just so good. It never lets me down. It always gives me amazing results. That's what I use today. And it's honestly just the best. You can also use a foam for this. Like the X Mondo Wave Tech is a really good one because it has a lot of hold, but it's also really lightweight. But I will say I do prefer my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse even over that foam. That is kind of the order that I like to prepare my hair to be diffused. So again, that's a lightweight leave-in conditioner or a lightweight cream either way. And then a gel or a jelly on top of that. Micro plopping to remove the excess water. That's also going to help you not have to diffuse for as long. And then topping that off with a mousse or a foam. That has consistently worked for me for about two months now, ever since I discovered this routine. I do have an entire wash day routine on my channel. If you want to check that out, I'll try to have that link down below. It is my, I think I titled it like the best wash day for wavy hair. It truly is the best. It's a routine I did today. It's so good. If you are struggling to get good results, go buy all those products. And I promise you, well, I don't promise you because everyone here, everyone's hair is so different, but it's a really good routine. So go check that out if you're really struggling. Okay. So now as far as the different techniques go with diffusing. So first of all, there's pixie diffusing. This is one of my favorites. So what you're going to do for pixie diffusing, and I'm just going to use my blow dryer as a demonstration. So this is the X Tava blow dryer and the black orchid diffuser. Unfortunately, they do not make this anymore. They discontinued it. I do not know why that's very frustrating, but I do have another diffuser. I'm going to um, kind of recommend to you guys at the end of the video, but this is a good one and it's really stupid that they discontinued it. Anyways, pixie diffusing. What you're going to want to do is with your diffuser turned off, you're going to pile your hair into your diffuser, bring it all the way up to your scalp, and then you're going to turn on your diffuser, let it sit for about five seconds, and then you're going to take it out. Pixie diffusing is definitely one of my favorites, but you can end up with wonky waves very quickly if you're not super careful. So the tips I have for you as far as pixie diffusing goes is if you have wavy hair like I do, do not leave your hair in the diffuser with it turned on for very long at all. I'm talking like five to seven seconds. When my hair is soaking wet, I can leave it in for about 10 seconds, but the drier your hair gets, the less amount of time you're going to want to keep it in the diffuser before moving on to the next section. And I do dry my hair in four sections with my hair kind of 
flipped forward like this I split it down the middle just kind of visually I'm not actually sectioning my hair but I'll do like one section in the front one in the back on each side and I will diffuse that much hair at a time that just kind of gets it done quicker and it works great for me so the other technique that I like to use is hover diffusing and it's exactly what it sounds like I like to just hover diffuse my roots this is also going to really minimize the heat damage if that is something you're concerned about keeping the diffuser further away from your hair instead of like right up in your hair is definitely going to disperse the heat a little bit better and not damage your hair as much so I do like to diffuse my roots and if you don't want a pixie diffused you can diffuse your lengths there are no rules in hair do whatever you want I do do that sometimes if I'm worried that my hair is might maybe going to get a little bit frizzy another way that I like to diffuse is with my hair flipped over and I will hover diffuse my roots with my head upside down because that's going to really help me get a ton of volume that's what I did to Today and it just like really helps I mean my hair is very long so I'm not getting like the most volume ever I have long hair at long layers so but this is like pretty good fluffy voluminous hair I'm very happy with this result and I got that from flipping my head upside down and hover diffusing my roots that just helps your hair to kind of dry in that position. So the last technique I'm gonna be talking about today is hammock diffusing. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with this. If you want a full video and tutorial on this, I would go check out Wavy Curly Alley's video. She has an entire video on hammock diffusing, but essentially what it is is you're gonna pile all of your hair into a microfiber towel or a t-shirt, kind of like this. It looks different when my hair is dry though. And then you're going to hover diffuse your hair in the towel so that's basically all i'm gonna explain again if you want like a more in-depth tutorial you can go to her channel and actually i do kind of use like a variation of that when i'm doing my hair so when my hair is flipped over i'll scrunch my hair up in my hand and then diffuse me just like holding my hair i don't know if that's like technically hammock diffusing or if that's called something else but that is another technique that i'll sometimes use if i feel like my diffuser is making my hair a little bit too frizzy now, as far as the heat and the speed that I use, I think a safe option that would work best for most people across the board is to use a medium heat and a medium speed. That's gonna be less damaging, but it, it's also most likely going to cause less frizz. And you also have more margin for error because if you use high heat and you accidentally hold your hair up in the diffuser for too long, you're gonna get wonky waves way faster. So if your hair is on a lesser heat, it's just not gonna dry as quickly and you're gonna have a little bit more room for air. That being said though, if you do accidentally leave your hair in the bowl too long, you take it down and you're starting to notice some zigzags, I will just scrunch my hair while it's still a little bit wet and um, I can normally get that shape to kind of fall back into place. If not, it's totally okay to just re-dampen your hair, scrunch it back to where it's your actual natural wave pattern and then go back into diffusing. So another tip is if you are diffusing your hair and you're noticing that it's starting to get a little bit frizzy, that again is another time to go back in, add a little bit more water and a little bit more product. For this, I like to go back in with my foam or my mousse foams are really good because they're mainly like water so they kind of add the water and the product at the same time and I would just go in and like glaze it or like smooth it over my hair and then scrunch it in and then I'll just continue back with my diffusing and that normally gets rid of the frizz also if I know that I applied enough product and I don't need more product but my hair is just like getting frizzy for some reason I'll actually bump up the heat to high heat now sometimes high heat heat can cause frizz but for me sometimes high heat fixes the frizz so you're gonna have to kind of try both and see what works for you on that specific wash day because for me what works on one wash day doesn't work on another wash day my hair is in a different condition there's more humidity in the air or less humidity in the air and like there's so many variable variables that play into that sometimes lower heat gives me less frizz but here recently I've really been noticing that if my hair is starting to dry frizzy if I turn up the heat and start hover diffusing it helps my hair to form a gel cast faster and gel casts help to reduce frizz so that's another little tip for you if your hair is getting frizzy crank the heat up and go to hover diffusing and stop pixie diffusing because pixie diffusing is definitely going to be like messing your hair up a little bit it's a little bit rougher on your hair so if it's getting frizzy i would move to hover diffusing if you're getting a little bit nervous about how frizzy it's getting so the final thing i want to cover before i recommend my diffuser to you this is really sounding like a 
I'm sponsored by the diffuser that I'm gonna mention, but I'm actually just building suspense, so you'll watch the whole video. Okay, anyways. Oh yeah, so one of my favorite ways to utilize my diffuser is in my foam refreshes, or really just refreshing your hair in general. Refreshing my hair with a foam and a diffuser gives me the most volume. I have tons of videos on my channel where I've done foam refreshes in the past. My favorite foam to use with this is currently the Curlsmith foam, but I also love the X Mondo Wave Tech. They're both really good. I actually made a video comparing the two, but if you have one or the other, they're great options. Um, go check out one of my videos on foam refreshes. But yeah, that is a like one of my favorite times to diffuse my hair and I will actually do what I call like rough diffusing my hair with that and that it, it's similar to pixie diffusing but you just don't turn your blow dryer off in between sections and that is just going to give you a lot of frizz but also a lot of volume so keep that in mind your, your hair will get frizzy but if you have enough product in it you're still going to have a good bit of definition so I like doing that on day two hair to really just kind of mess my hair up give me lots of Fluff, very much Julia Roberts vibes and yeah that's a pretty fun option too I don't do that on my wash days though because I like to have like a little bit of a tamer vibe for my wash days okay finally the big reveal my diffuser that I would recommend you guys I'm like I shouldn't have made this such a big thing because I haven't even tried this diffuser but I just want to help you guys out since my diffuser is no longer available and they're really stupid for that because this is a bomb diffuser anyways it's just a curlsmith diffuser guys come on go get that one it's probably really good it has a really big bowl so if you have long hair I would imagine that it would be really good for it but it's also a shallow bowl so I feel like it would also work really well on short hair to still be able to like I don't know the word just help with shrinkage that's what I'm trying to think of since it doesn't have a deep bowl because if the bowl is deeper than your hair is long it's not gonna really like scrunch your hair up and help with curl enhancement but anyways yeah that's the diffuser I would probably recommend just because I don't really know of any other ones um and yeah I'm sure Curl Smith knows what they're doing so there's tons of videos and reviews online if you're unsure of that diffuser but yeah so I think that's all my tips I'm sure I'll think of more once I turn the video off so yeah guys that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful if it was definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to and follow my Instagram and my wavy hair Instagram they are both linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye